Hello and welcome to Learn Web Dev. Today we will be building a scroll indicator, which shows the indicator of how far you have scrolled in the current page and how much is still left. And this will look like this. So you can see how the progress bar is um, progressing to 100% when I reach the end of the page and it also goes backwards. So you all always know how much is left of the article or of the page and yeah let's build it okay so first we will create the um, HTML file in Visual Studio Code you can just press um, exclamation mark and tab and it will create this basic structure for you then we can change the title to scroll indicator in the and then we will create our first div with the ID navbar. We will create just a basic page um, for just for this example, <coughs> like this. Then we will copy this three times, and this will be the home button, the block, contact, and Inside this div, we will create another div with the ID progress container. This is where the progress bar will be um, inside of. And inside this one, we will create another div with the actual progress bar. And we will leave this empty. So then we can go below our nav bar and create a div with the ID main. This is just where our main content will be. Then we can have a header, for example, with um, header. And then we'll just add some um, some placeholder text. I will just copy this. It's a little bit, but um, I really want to show the scroll indicator, so it needs to be a, a bit taller. Um, then we also need to link our style sheet and href style whoops style.css also at the bottom right um, before our closing body tag we'll add the script tag src main.js and there we have it we're finished with the index um, html file i already have the styling here I will include it in the source code, which you can get um, in the description. And we can take a look at the page and this is how it looks. You can, of course, change the styling and everything. The, this, this button don't work, but we have a page where you can scroll. And inside this little white bar will be our progress container, uh, our progress bar. So <clears throat> let's switch over to our main JS file. And here we will first create a window.on scroll function, which will look like this. You can name your function whatever you want. I will just call it my function, or we can also call it scroll function. function. And then down below we will create the function. Scroll function, and here we will first um, get the um, our scrolling variable. So um, I will just give an example. So this will be how far we have scrolled in the page. So create a variable, name it win scroll or whatever you want. You can name it. I don't know. Then we will check for the document body, scroll top. And if that's not available, we will check for the document dot document element dot scroll top. So we will always get the um, scrolling. Then we will console lock this one just so I can show you what exactly this does because, because I can't explain it right now. I don't know why. Um, this will be the win scroll variable plus win scroll. So let's test it. I will refresh the page. 
open the console and now um, oh yes because the s is in caps now see you can see the wind scroll is at zero when i go a little bit down you can see it's increasing and it's always increasing till i'm at the bottom which is 2925 um, pixels i guess and when you go all the way to the top it's at zero so this is your current scroll position then we will um, get the full page uh, the full height of the page We do this by creating a variable, naming it height, and setting it to document document dot document element scroll height minus the document dot document element client height. We can also console lock this one so you can ex exactly see what this does. Height and this one also refresh the page and there you can see the wind scroll function um, oh no, no the height function yes is the full height of the page so this is just the complete height so when we scroll all the way to the bottom you can see the um, current scroll position is 2925 and also the full height is 2925 which indicates we are at the bottom of the page and now we just need to um, create one last thing and this is the percentage the percentage we've scrolled var scrolled equals we will just use the two variables from before win scroll divided by height times 100 to get the percentage so now we can console log this also Save everything, refresh the page, and now you can see the scroll function shows exactly which percentage we are. So when I scroll to um, to the bottom, it's at 100%. When I scroll, let's say, to the middle maybe, is this the middle? It should be around 50, yeah, 65%. And now we just need to create one little thing because um, we have this element progress bar with the uh, the stiff element with the ID progress bar. We also have the styling, which is progress bar. And you can see this diff has a height of eight pixels, which is this one, this is eight pixels height. Um, and also we have a width of 0%. When I change this to 10%, this is just the style CSS file, you know? So when I upgrade it, uh, it won't do anything um, okay let's just you know what let's just try it um, the normal way and I will do it with the JavaScript file I can for some reason show it um, like this but now we will just get the element document dot get element by ID which was progress bar and we set the style dot width to be um, this variable so the percentage scrolled plus the percentage sign because um, as you saw our width um, thing only takes percentage so if I would have um, kept it like this you wouldn't see anything you have to add the progress uh, the the um, percentage sign so save everything refresh the page um, and there we have a little bug mm. but why element by ID is null. Oh, I forgot the S. Ah, okay, that's why. Let's just do the example again. 
So we can change this percentage um, to 10% and we should see that it's at 10%. Now nothing happens, but when I, when I remove this, set it to zero again and uncomment this one, you will see, now you can see when I scroll down, it slowly um, progresses. So I can just scroll and it shows the exact scroll position, which you can also see in the console. We are at 88%, which seems, seems right. And now we're at 100%, 100, so it's completely full. This is around 50% maybe. Yes, this is 50. And all the way at the top, it's zero. And that's it. Now you can add a scroll indicator to your website. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you liked it, please leave a like. Also subscribe and the source code is in the description below. And if you want to see more projects uh, or you want me to do a project, just leave a comment and yes, thank you.